Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. I'm down here in my home gym, I call it the dungeon, going to do some deadlifts today and I wanted to pass along my deadlift program. My deadlift program, with my deadlift program, I have five, five things I want you to do. I want you to write these things down and take note. These five steps, these five methods of improving your deadlift will help dramatically. Over the last couple of years, I've fallen in love with the deadlift. I used to be a squatting fanatic, but around 2007, I started to play with the deadlift for the first time in my life, and I've dedicated a lot of time and effort into improving this lift. In 19, and excuse me, in 2013, at about the age of 45, my deadlift was approaching 700 raw, so that, or excuse me, 800 raw at the age of 45. So I went from, in 2007, first starting the deadlift, I was maxing about 345, and over the next seven years, I brought it up close to 800 pounds. So I want to share, you, share with you my philosophies on improving the deadlift. First and foremost, number one, I want you to squat twice a week. This isn't, I don't want you wide stance squatting. I want you conventional stance squatting and I want you to get your reps in. So squat twice a week, make sure you rest at least two days in between squat sessions. You can do one day of pause squats and one day of regular conventional stance squats or two days of pause squats or two days of regular conventional stance squats. It doesn't matter. Don't overkill the volume on either day. I just want you squatting frequently and I want you to get your squat strength up, get your reps in and get your quad strength up. Number two, heavy rows. I want you to row heavy twice a week. I want you to row heavy twice a week. You're going to use straps. Forget what you learned on the internet from experts. You're going to use straps. At some point, your back strength should outshine your ability to hold a dumbbell or barbell. At my peak, I was able to row 270 pound, a 270 pound dumbbell for 10 reps. Use straps, use straps, so you can maximize the weight on dumbbell and barbell rows. If you feel your grip is weak, don't let it hold back your rowing power. The point here is to get your back and your rows as strong as humanly possible. If your grip is weak, do grip work afterwards, but don't let your grip strength impede your back strength progress. You can never have enough back strength. So row twice a week with straps or versa grips. And remember, don't pull the weight, drive the elbow back. Drive the elbow back and finish with a contraction. That's your power, you want explosiveness, you want power, you want Herculean back strength. If you can dumbbell row 200 pounds with one arm for reps, if you can barbell row, pendley row, 315 pounds for reps, the deadlift will feel lighter. If you can row, Pendley row, 315 pounds for reps, imagine what you'll be able to do with the deadlift, with a barbell in a more leverage-friendly position. Now, the third thing here is when you do deadlift, and I want you to deadlift once a week, no pulling above 90% of your one rep max. This is pointless. What I want you to do is switch to timed sets. Instead of doing repped sets, like sets of three or five or whatever, I want the staple of your program to be timed sets. So you're doing an eight to 10, maybe even a 12 minute block of singles. Now, if you're a more intermediate lifter, maybe eight to 10 week block is better for you. If you're a more intermediate experienced lifter, excuse me, if you're more of a beginner or novice, then a 10 to 12 week block would be preferred. Now here's what you do. Instead of performing reps, 
you perform singles during this time. Start with about 75 to 80% of your one rep max and perform as many quality singles as you can in that eight to 10 to 12 minute block of time. You perform a single, you get in your good setup, perform a quality single with good form, stand up, release the bar, Wait until you're physically and mentally ready to go again. That could be 10 seconds, that could be five seconds, that could be 30 or 40 seconds. Wait till you're ready, grab the bar, get your good setup and perform another single. When you're able to perform eight to 10 singles using that weight in that period of time, add only five pounds to the bar during your next deadlift workout. This way, you're going to maximize your form you're gonna have an acute focus on form when you're deadlifting. You're going to be focused on progression or improving, making little improvements workout to workout. You're not gonna be overloading or overworking the deadlift, and you're going to see a consistent week in and week out improvement on the number of reps you can do on your deadlifts, on the weight you can do in your deadlifts. You're gonna go from here to up there. You're just gonna see a quality, quality, gradual improvement to your deadlift strength. Now tip number four or point number four to my deadlift program is once a week you're doing deadlifts, once a week I also want you to do what is called power shrug hell. Here's how power shrug hell works. You load up a barbell in a, in a squat rack. I have the rack set below knee level. You load up your barbell and you start with an empty bar and you perform 10 reps of power shrugs. I should say five to eight to 10 reps of power shrugs, whatever you're in the mood for that day. A power shrug isn't a mind muscle connection shrug. It is a powerful explosive shrug like this. The point is to be powerful. The point is to be explosive. So load up the bar um, after your first set with just a bar, load it up with two additional plates. You're going to do another power shrug set of five to eight to 10 reps. Explosive, again, explosive power shrugs. Once that's done, add another plate. So you start with the bar, you move to one plate on each side, you move to two plates on each side, you move to three plates on each side, you continue adding plates until you get to the point where you feel like you can't complete a set. And then you might just add 25s on the side. You keep going up, keep going up, adding plates to the side, taking maybe about a minute to a minute and a half of rest, in between each set, just building up consistently in weight till you get to a peak weight. I've done this, got to close to 800 pounds. So I'd start with one plate, two plates, three plates, work up to close to 800 pounds. If you can work on that low rack pull and that power shrug, that power shrug, you're gonna be build, you're gonna build big traps, you're gonna build that quality upper body strength, you're gonna fortify the deadlift, and this will really help your pulling power. The last piece of advice or last tip I have here on my deadlift program is get your technique squared away. I cannot tell you how many times I go on Instagram and I'm on Instagram often, how many times I go on Instagram, how many times I go on Facebook, how many times I go on YouTube and see somebody pulling with bad technique. Either their grip is way too wide, which forces them lower to the bar during their setup, or they have a tweener foot stance where they don't have a conventional foot stance and they don't have a sumo stance, they have something in between. This tweener stance forces your arms out, forces you lower to the bar and creates subpar leverages during deadlift. I also see all kinds of crazy things. Tweener stances, wide grips, hips high, starting with the back loose and the hips high, even a a lot of guys who are very, very strong in the deadlift still have subpar techniques. So I don't care who you are, I don't care how strong you are, I don't care what your goals are, you need to get on YouTube and learn proper deadlift form and you need to work on it. Poor leverages, poor starting positions will dramatically hinder your ability to pull. By making small adjustments, by making small intelligent adjustments, learning to get your hips down, learning to get your arms in to the sides of your knees when you're pulling uh, conventionally will help your leverages and could help you 
add 10, 20, even 30 pounds to your deadlift in a single day. Plus, it will save your lower back. So guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, guys, there's a Q&A link below. Come on over, post your questions in that Q&A link. I answer every question posted. The best questions I take and create a Q&A Saturday video, so watch for that on Saturday. And guys, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I would appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.